Roland. Go. Okay, peace is the monster, Austin Warrior Arts, Seth the Cultic, Guild of Silent Sword. And um, it's been a while since I made a video and I want to kind of come back and hit this hard. Um, had a few epiphanies concerning the Chotel and I wanted to actually share some of these things with you. So, um, uh, for one, this is a pretty decent size uh, training Chotel. Uh, they can range and get a lot larger um, as far as, um, they can get a lot larger. So the, they can be a lot longer, I should say. So this blade could be up to like, you know, 40 inches long. But a lot of them don't hover, I mean, are a, a lot smaller, a lot more manageable than that. But anyhow, what I've noticed when I was um, uh, doing some research on the um, Ethiopian um, uh, medieval uh, Ethiopian artwork, and the Chotel doesn't feature that prominently in Ethiopian military um, uh, medieval art, uh, but there are there were a few examples of it being used against the Italians in this uh, famous painting. And one thing I noticed is that the Chotel, when it was being used, it was being used just like a saber. Um, it showed um, an Ethiopian warrior, you know, pretty much his shield extended forward and a shot right here to the neck and to the head of the Italian soldier. Um, so you didn't really see it turn this way, but like this, just like you would use a saber. And it got me to thinking also that the way that Chotels are carried on your left side, on the left side, or right, uh, right side, excuse me, to draw it out, you would use like that Roman draw, as they call it, to get it out into action. And then your quickest configuration is right here, the Chotel being used just as a saber. Anyhow, <clears throat> so I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about, well, you know, from here, it's not as awkward as it seems. I actually got a lot of coverage here with this blade. And I can still use that characteristic hooking motion with it. Now, I have seen the Chotel depicted being used in this fashion as well. Um, but not really in any battle situations. Like there's a, an image of um, a few Ethiopian warriors using the Chotel to carve flesh. And there's this one, probably the oldest depiction of the Chotel is this, I'm not quite sure of the context, but it seems like it's like a, a giant ogre type creature who's consuming human flesh. And he happens to have like a piece of someone's body in his mouth and the, the Chotel he's being used, used to, to cut the pieces, uh, cut it into pieces. And, you know, the, the Chotel was referred to as a carving knife, and it was probably a much more modest sized blade than what we see today. So what I wanted to show is um, to kind of err on the side of caution and start working on using the Chotel in both configurations. So here's just a little bit of how this will look, just kind of with the shield and the buckler here. Shield or buckler, whatever. This is not with any lateral movement. This is just me getting used to striking around the buckler. Then here I'm switching up, using that pronounced sickle shape to do all the cutting. Boom, I can still kind of hook around, work on hooking around the blade. Anyways, a little theory I've been working on. So the show tell if you have it at home, practice with it like you would a saber. And then switch it around, work on it as a sickle. That way, you know, you cover your bases and um, it gets us that much closer to perhaps the way this weapon was used on the battlefield. Anyhow, thank you guys for your time and I'll see you soon.